Hello, my name is Bill Babcock. I want to talk about experiment, uh, experiences that, that I had uh, when I was camping at Shasta Lake. And I had a dog with name. And it was like a, uh, well, it was named Fluffy. And it looked a lot like Benji, if you remember the movie Benji here. And what happened one night, it was probably back in summer 1973 or 74. And there was one that middle of the night, my dog was barking like crazy. And I did hear something and way back in the woods or he was shuffling the bushes and and that, and then know if it's going to be bear, or it's going to be Bigfoot, or anything, or any other animals. He was barking here just like crazy, and then quiet down a little bit. Then all of a sudden, there was a white shaft of a light shot up through the tree. And he really barked wild, and then stopped. So I figured maybe it was some kind of ghostly figures there. So I'm going to do a pendulum test on that. And uh, in Mount Shasta, they have a lot of UFO activities. And people used to come up here. It could be part of that. It could be a secret site. It didn't sense anything. It was evil. So so therefore, uh, it probably was, you know, just maybe some old spirit from either secret sound or UFO activity or space people, so it could be anything like that. So I'm going to do the pendulum test. Let's see if it is in position here. It is in position. Okay, give me yes. I'll give the answer no. Okay, uh, uh, now I've got a first question. The experiment is back in the woods. Was there a uh, bear in the woods? Was it, okay, was it a Bigfoot back in there? Okay, since, okay, I'll stop here. Now, since it said it was Bigfoot there, I did not see what was back there, so I did hear the Bigfoot, sounds like. So that white shaft of light going up the tree, was that a, a different kind of ghost? Was it the Bigfoot just goes into a different dimension? Is a is a Bigfoot has a uh, does it shift into dimensional? Do Bigfoot ever shape shift? That's an all, so, so uh, I know up in the Northwest, so I got the answer on that. So in the Northwest, there's been a lot of reports about Bigfoot, even though I didn't see one, but, uh, so that's probably closest I have without seeing one, but uh, it was near where we was at. So, 
that's the right area here, so it was big for it. And I guess they do shift into multi dimensional being here, so it sounds like that's what it is. And some people say it could be connected to UFOs or it may be connection with that too, so so that'll be it for today and uh let's say goodbye and God bless you now.